Well, hello. Uh, we're going to look at the drill press now and the safety features and the safety pr procedures that you need to uh, ensure you do before you actually use this tool. Um, it's quite a simple tool. Most people have used an electric drill before, but an electric drill is kind of a, a mobile where this is a stationary tool. You have your, your main drill mechanism up here, and then you have a stationary table where you place your stock and you do all your drilling. Uh, just some things to note, uh, the table itself can be moved. There's a mechanism back here and, and a pinion and rack system. So you can loosen that and then you use this lever to raise and lower the platform. And what you want to do is make sure the platform is at a, at a level that is uh, good for the piece of stock that you're using. Uh, one other thing that you can do with the drill press is sometimes you need to do an angle uh, uh, drill. And on the bottom, we have uh, these two levers that will allow you to bevel uh, the platform up and down to a certain angle, but whichever you would need. So basically, those are the main parts, the platform, the rack and pinion, the chuck, and the drill itself. Uh, what's more important then is what type of bit you're going to use. Uh, drill press, just like a, a, just like a uh, handheld drill, can be used to uh, put holes in metal or wood or other materials and and you need to know which type of bit to use So we have some different bits here a spade bit a multi-purpose kind of bit that will cut through pretty well anything but for wood we want Generally speaking we would like a spur tip bit which will allow you to get very accurate So I'm going to chuck this bit and then we're going to move on. So this is a chuck and there's a special key for opening the chuck. It's a three-jawed chuck. You have three little pieces of metal here that bind or pinch, pinch your uh, drill bit. And I'm going to open those up. And I can open those up either with the key or just with my hand. And you don't want to open it up too much so that the collar of the bit is loose. You just want to kind of tighten it hand tight and you don't want it down uh, pinching the actual uh, bit itself. So when I get it there, I'm going to use the key turning clockwise. I'm going to tighten that. So then you're sure that the bit will not come out while you're drilling. When you get to this point, you're ready to set up your stock and uh, do your drilling. Okay, now that we have the drill bit secured in the chuck, we're ready to actually start drilling. But before we do the actual drilling, there's a few things uh, that we have to be aware of. You can see that I've added a clamp to the platform. It's super important that we don't freehand or try to hold a piece of stock uh, while we're drilling. Uh, we want to minimize the risk and we want to keep our hands away from the spinning drill bit. So this vice uh, grip clamp is now in place and I can actually clamp my piece of wood or my piece of stock or whatever it is and it will not move. All I need to do is make sure you know I have the drill bit above uh, where I actually want to drill. Speed. Typically the speed of a drill uh, uh, press uh, is determined by the stock. So if we're doing wood typically you want a lower speed uh, for hardwoods and a higher speed for softwoods. Uh, this this actually stops uh, the wood from uh, burning from the friction uh, from the drill bit. Um, typically this drill press is set at kind of an intermediate kind of speed around a thousand RPMs which is kind of a general purpose speed. You should be okay with most woods but if you do have a really hard wood or a really soft wood you can change your speed by changing these belts just like your 10 speed bicycle. Okay so I'm going to close that uh, the other thing you need to know is this depth gauge. By default, I think this comes set at, you know, four or five inches, which means you can actually plunge this drill uh, bit down past the platform. So if you need to drill at a certain depth, you can set the gauge. I have this gauge set for half an inch. 
So my bit, I can be assured, will only go into a half inch into this wood. The only thing left to do is to turn the drill press on and then use these levers and pull down smoothly. So we're going to do that now and you'll see how this works. You can see that I let the drill press come up to full speed before I plunge the bit into the wood and then I just smoothly pull the lever down until it stopped and then I let it come back up. And that will give you your hole. Okay, now that we've successfully uh, completed our drilling, we need to unchuck the bit. We can't leave the bit in the drill press. Uh, for one, it might seize up. Two, it is a safety hazard because somebody might uh, cut themselves uh, if they don't realize you've left the bit in there. Uh, you want to wait a minute or so to let the bit cool down from the friction of uh, the action of the drilling. So just like we inserted the bit, we're going to take our key, uh, our chuck key, and we're going to place it in, and we're going to go counterclockwise now. And you don't really want to put it in too tight or then you'll have difficulty getting it out. So there we go. That's it. We're done. Uh, and this tool is now ready for someone else to come set up and use.